Sage Wanderer here and welcome to my van down by the river. So today we are using some early 20th century technology to make coffee. So a lot of people don't know how to make coffee without their plastic Mr. Coffee coffee machine. But this method will work on a stove top, this will work on a gas burner, and this method will work on an open fire, a campfire. And this is the way that people made coffee before Mr. Coffee changed everything in the 1970s. And I just thought I would document it. So as boring as it may sound, and uh, hang out with me while I brew some coffee. We got the percolator system here, set it aside. Take some fresh water, cold water. We're gonna fill this up to the six cup mark. Whew, almost overdid it, six cups. Then we're gonna set the percolator system down here and you'll see that this consists of three parts. The lid, and get down here where you can see it. The uh, the filter top of the lid there, the basket, and the upright pipe. Steam hot water comes up through the pipe, through the middle of the basket, through the basket filled with coffee into the lid and drips down through this and brews the coffee. For six cups, I like my coffee dark, so I'm going to do six, or I'm going to do uh, three heaping tablespoons. One of coffee, two, doesn't matter as long as it's coffee, doesn't matter what kind of coffee it is, that's three. That's super strong, but that's how I like it. I'm going to uh, let my coffee dark and, and strong. Put the lid back on here. And if people are wondering what kind of coffee I like, I've used the U-Band Dark Roast. And that's all there is to the setup. You can do this the night before to let it sit there. So in the morning, all you have to do is just spark up your burner. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And uh, you'll see the condensation here changing as the water heats up. And what will happen is the water will start to pop up in this crystal clear top and if you watch when the water first comes up it's uh, it's white it's clear you know this is clear and as the coffee darkens you can see that the perk gets darker and darker I like mine to look really dark I like mine to be just like dark black other people might like a lighter amber color so you can choose your level of of strength of the coffee by how long it percolates and uh, like I said, I like this to be pretty dark, so we'll just let that cook for a while. Okay, now we're starting to see the boil come on. If you look right here, you'll notice that you're going to see a, a, a gurgle, a splash. See a splash of water come up? See that? That means that it's steaming and it's boiling and water is rising up through the center tube. It's hitting this little crystal knob on top, and then all of that's going back down. That water's going back down into the coffee and dripping through the coffee down into the coffee pot. And it's going to get darker as it cooks. So it was clear at first, but now it's starting to get a little bit of color to it. So you just want to watch that process. Let me turn this fan off. You just want to watch that process as it darkens. You start to see it darken. At this point, when it's boiling furiously, then I'll turn it down a bit. So I'll bring it back to about a medium heat, slow that down to a perk, instead of a full-on boil. And then I'll let that perk, you know, the book that came with the coffee pot said three minutes. Uh, my experience, but I like a dark, rich, roasted coffee taste. And it's why I, I get my coffee this way. And so I like to, uh, you know, go for about six minutes of percolate time. So we'll see if that's correct this time. I mainly I watch the color. You can see the color starting to get amber now, but uh, eventually it's going to get very, very dark. And that's how I like it, very dark and roasty flavor. So you can see the colors changing now. It went from a light amber color to more of a uh, darker, more of a caramel color. And, but we're still waiting for that to get uh, genuinely dark. So we've got a little while longer to wait. 
All right, now it's getting the kind of the color that I like. It's getting a little darker tone. Also, I kind of go by smell. At this point, it starts to really smell like the coffee's ready. And the color's gotten darker. I think I'll go ahead now and, and kill the flame to it. And just kind of let it sit there and continue to perk a little bit and drip and steep. And this will allow the water that's still in the basket of coffee to drip and get the last little bit of coffee from the basket. You can see it's still boiling. If you open the top right now, you can see, well, I'll do it. You can see it. Ooh, it's going to burn me. It's hot. Let's do it with this. See there, you can see it gurgling. And uh, that's, what, that's what it's doing. Uh, it's percolating. It's gurgling up there. So I'll just let that steep for a minute or two and the flavor continues to get richer and deeper the longer it sits. And then when I'm ready to drink my coffee, I'll pour a cup of coffee and then I'll put the, and I'll take the basket out first and then pour a cup of coffee. You'll see that in a minute. And um, then I'll turn the heat back on at a very low just to keep it simmering and the coffee will still get richer and darker as it sits and cooks. You just don't want to ever get it real hot and boiling because it will burn and you don't want a, a charred flavor in your coffee. Now I'm going to take the basket out. It's kind of done perking. Careful not to burn yourself during this process because everything's really hot. This is not Mr. Coffee. Ah! So I'll set that over there. And now I'm ready to pour a cup. Nice dark roast cup of black coffee. All right, till next time.